In this segment, we're talking about protective gear. Unfortunately, motorcycle riding does have its dangers and, and occasionally you could be involved in an accident. Not having the right protective gear on would be like jumping into a fire. If you have the right gear on generally, it'll minimise the amount of uh, injury that you could sustain and sometimes it'll, it'll minimise them to a point that you have no injury. So I think it goes without saying that you should have the right riding gear on if you ride in a motorcycle. Helmets, in my view, are the most critical point of, of rider protection. There's a, there's, a different, there's a whole bunch of variety of different helmets you could choose, but the key ingredient is to have one that fits correctly. You know, you, the last thing you want is a loose-fitting helmet or a, or a helmet that doesn't meet the standard. So you need a, a, an Australian-approved motorcycle helmet. And your local dealer will be able to direct you into the right, uh, the right helmet and the right style for what, for what your day-to-day -day riding requires. But without, a de without doubt, a helmet is the key ingredient for keeping yourself safe on the street. Motorcycle riding has its dangers. You're 30 times more likely to be injured in a motorcycle accident than you are driving a car. So again, protective clothing really comes into its own. And, and, and a leather jacket, there's a difference between a leather jacket and a leather jacket, or a, or a long sleeve shirt and, and good protective gear. So when choosing a protective uh, garment, whether it be leather or some other, some other material for your, uh, for your upper body, make sure it's got the key ingredients. It's not going to fall apart as soon as you fall over. The last thing you want, it looks good, but you hit the ground and then rips all your skin open. So, you know, price is, is, an, is an important uh, part, of, part of the choice, but there is a lot of different varieties that you can choose. You know, I would make sure that you've got, uh, if it was myself riding, I'd make sure that I've got ample back protection, elbow protection and shoulder protection, and the materials actually going to at least last for a few seconds if I was to crash. Again, legs are one of the most exposed parts on a motorcycle in any, in any accident involving a motorcycle. But again, choosing some good leather, leather protection, that's what I would personally uh, use. But if you're going to use one of the other uh, Kevlar gene or some other type of gene, they're quite good as well. But essentially, if you've just got your normal Levi's, so to speak, when you'll hit the ground, they'll actually just disintegrate. They won't even actually give you any protection whatsoever. So you might as well, you, you wouldn't go out in your underwear. Essentially, that's what you're doing in a pair of jeans. Protecting your feet is a, is a key point in overall safety. I can assure you that without the right boots when I was racing, I wouldn't be talking, talking to you guys, standing here talking to you guys today. You know, you all, we all use our, our feet to, to use the brakes, to use the gears, and to actually move the bike from side to side. The last thing you'd want is to have a shoelace on a general shoe, go into the, ch into the chain area, get caught in the sprocket, spin around, pull your foot in, and chop your toes off maybe even a foot. I've seen that happen before. So boots come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, but I would recommend having a good quality boot, which is a good all-round weather condition boot to keep you guys safe and to keep, keep you out of trouble. You want to have some good gloves. Not all gloves are the same. The same thing, the last thing you want to do is have a nice looking glove, which keeps your hand warm, but as soon as you put it on the ground, it's gone. So you need something with some good stitching, some good quality. They do vary in cost, but you can get some cost-effective, good motorcycle gloves on the market. and. Uh, you know, I would, uh, I would highly recommend um, in, in choosing something that will save you from uh, injuring your hands. They are one of the most injury prone parts of our body.